Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me again today. I uh, hope you're having a good one wherever you are in the world. Um, I was reading an, a few articles about the immune system this morning. I don't know how, you know, you know how it happens on the internet. I was telling somebody the other day, this is our new way. I don't know where, I don't know how I found out about it. You click on one thing, it leads to another. You go here and there and you're not quite sure of the connection, how you got there. But anyhow, I landed and was reading on an article on the immune system. Not a very good article, but then I started thinking and uh, jumped into a couple of more articles that were a little bit better and I uh, thought this would be a good video for today. Um, looking into and studying the immune system was uh, something that was part of my path that, uh, that somehow inadvertently led me to this raw vegan lifestyle. Um, like I say, just to recap a little bit about my life, my, my story, my path, blah, blah, blah. Uh, got started just because I was drinking way too much and uh, living like crap. Uh, as soon as I quit the booze, quit the smoking, started eating better, doing what I didn't know at the time was a transition diet. I started looking into things like this. I started looking into antioxidants. I started looking into the immune system. Basically, I was thinking from a mentality already to try to repair um, the damage that I've done to myself over a long career of drinking and... Um, and just uh, be able to maybe repair some of it and booster my immune system to, um, you know, just to basically be ha healthy, 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 tongue tied today, healthy in the future and uh, maybe uh, stave off some of the things that, um, you know, bad living can bring. Now, I got to say right off the bat, I, listen, I don't know what to do other than just say thank you to the universe. I'm fortunate. I have a very strong immune system. I have a strong constitution, just my body works okay. I mean, because I should probably have problems. I came into the, you know, for the for the drinking I did and the way I treated my body, uh, it's almost not fair sometimes when I see other people that have come into this lifestyle in such an unhealthy state that didn't do half the abuse to themselves that I did. Um, so the immune system part of it has always been a pretty interesting thing for me. And, you know, it's hard. It's hard for me to even tell now, like, how much of it is because of this lifestyle and just because I had a good immune system from the beginning. But um, it's not a, you know, I, I don't get sick very often, very, very, very seldom, but I never got sick a whole lot. Um, I was never, you know, I didn't catch the, I, I guess that's probably because I tend to be kind of a loner and I'm not a touchy-feely person. I always stayed away from the colds, the seasonal flus, whatever bug it was that was going around. Um, but I, I have no doubt, and I've had a few kind of glimpses that I'm not like concrete proof, but a few glimpses that my immune system is even a little bit better now. Ergo, I had a little bit of a cold back in November. Um, you know, and by the way, I don't think no matter whether we're raw vegan, how we're eating, no matter how good our immune system is, I don't think we're just like, it's impossible to catch something. And I don't think we should make that big of a deal. Some raw vegans damn near lose their mind. Like, oh my God, like it's blown their whole belief system just because they get sick. But when I got that cold back in November, it did not proceed like colds had in the past for me. It was gone completely within three days. There wasn't a whole lot of discomfort about it. Um, uh, so I, I gotta, you know, I gotta think, you know, there, there, there's something to that. There's, there's a connection there. It's not just the fact that I had a good immune system before I've bolstered my immune system. I know there's no doubt on this lifestyle. Just wanted to kind of preface with the fact like, yeah, I know coming into it, um, you know, I, uh, I'm a lucky one. I'm a lucky one. I shouldn't have been able to drink like I have, for, I did for 30 years and see the clarity in my eyes, my skin. There's a lot of that. There's just a lot of telltale signs that um, I didn't pick up a lot of the, the problems that heavy drinkers do. I'll keep my fingers crossed though. Anyhow, I thought I would just uh, read a little bit for people that aren't so much aware about the food immune system connection. Uh, maybe a good one to share with people that are, uh, because I know a lot of, share this video with people that are struggling with colds and flus right now. I know in, you know, on my Facebook, on my social media, just so many people, the whole household has it. So it's, it's a subject that um, is uh, t time, not time sensitive. What am I trying to say? You know, it's, it's a good time to talk about this right now as we're in the winter and the cold and the flu season. Um, 
What is the immune system? Made up of a complex network of cells and organs, the immune system is the body's natural defense mechanism, protecting it from infections, illnesses, viruses, bacteria, fungi, parasites, cancer cells, and toxins. The organs involved in the immune system are called lymphoid organs, which include adenoids, appendix, blood vessels, bone marrow, lymph nodes, lymphatic vessels, payers patches, whatever that is, spleen, thymus gland, and tonsils. Um, your, your immune system is only as strong as the food you use to fuel it. Studies discovered that macrophages, a type of immune cells, slowed, slowed down in people with a high cholesterol level. So even things like high cholesterol level, not for all the other health uh, problems it can cause, can also uh, affect your immune system. Uh, and, and obviously cholesterol is chiefly found in animal-based products. For, health, for healthy immune system functioning, animal-based products should be eliminated and replaced with uh, plant-based ones. There you go. Uh, besides animal-based foods, refined foods, refined sugar, and processed foods also deplete the body's vital nutrients and thereby weaken the immune system. Ingredients in processed foods such as MSG, sodium nitrates, nitrates, artificial sweeteners, artificial colors diminish the body's vital nutrients and depress the immune system. Also, caffeine, alcohol, and smoking terribly weaken the immune system as well. Um, by avoiding these unhealthy foods and stimulants, you can reduce unwanted uh, stress on your immune system. Uh, they're talking about a few vitamins. Now, people always have these immune boosters. While I was looking into this subject, I saw quite a number of immune boosters, too. Now, that I'm not so... Eh, I'm more of a big picture guy. If we're taking in a, a diet, our overall diet of whole food, plant-based foods, I don't think we necessarily need to make these concoctions. Like, for instance, here, it talks about vitamins. Um, you know, different vitamins. I don't think we need to necessarily take this concoction that has this vitamin, this vitamin, and this vitamin, but if we're taking in that, you know, a good variety of uh, healthy whole food, whole plant-based foods, we're getting these vitamins. Beta carotene, a precursor to vitamin A that neutralizes free radicals. Um, beta, beta carotene increases the number of infection-fighting cells and helper T cells. Um, some of the other vitamins are B2, B5, B6, B12. All those Bs like really boost the immune system. And of course, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E. Vitamin D, I'm telling you, that's the, that's the deal. I'm, I'm starting to believe like the vitamin D is like pulls it all together. The food, everything pulls it all together. It's got to be that vitamin D. Now, there are a couple of minerals Whereas I said, I don't necessarily say focus on, okay, this vitamin, this vitamin, this vitamin. Now, there's a couple of minerals, though, that I would maybe focus on making sure you're getting that are really great for the immune system. And that's zinc, zinc and selenium are two well-known minerals, but most of us tend to shortchange their abilities to improve the function of the immune system. Usually, vitamin C and probiotics steal the immunity spotlight, but zinc and selenium are also important nutrients The nutrients the immune system needs to function at its finest. Um, zinc and selenium both work to fight off free radicals, which are the invaders that end up lowering immune function. Free radicals tax the immune system since they cause it to constantly fight off illness instead of protecting and energizing your body the way it prefers. Um, just a few other things about zinc and selenium. And, and just for your easiest one, you can get... You, you can get uh, Eat yourself a Brazil nut a day. I'm not even sure you have to eat a Brazil nut a day to get what you need uh, for selenium, but one nut a day ain't going to kill you anyway. It ain't going to blow the fat levels out of there. Also, eat, you know, a Brazil nut a day, um, maybe a handful of um, pumpkin seeds for the zinc, but make sure about that zinc. Uh, men, make sure about that zinc, too. Uh, if you want to keep the lead in your pencil or you want to make sure you're uh, stored up on um, zinc. But... Overall, uh, yeah, you you know we uh, to people that have been doing this lifestyle a while, this is another kind of a basic one. I mean, it's kind of basic common sense, but I just wanted to explain a little bit of the hows in there. I mean, we probably all knew that uh, eating a whole food, plant based lifestyle, plenty of fruits and vegetables, is going to boost our immune system. Um, but a lot of people don't know this. A lot of people don't make the connection. That's why I do like to. Um, go backwards and do these basic videos, and I hope you'll share, especially the basic videos, um, 
you know, with just your average, every average everyday people that are just that don't know any of this stuff. And and I, that's not a knock. I didn't know before I knew. We don't know until we know. So, anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel. And uh, one more day to the weekend. Woohoo! See you guys. Peace.